just within four episodes, we become king of humanity. Shittiest race, but hey, we're still humanity. And then we declared war on basically everybody. And now the Giga Brain play is because we beat somebody that was backed with elf magic. Now everybody is suspecting that we're backed by something even stronger, which is a huge assumption. Therefore, they won't wage war on us. What's going to happen now? Let's begin today's reaction. Who is this? Is this the world authority that Tet has set up? I'm not sure what's going on, but okay. There's some kind of moderators of this world, right? The fallen gods. Huh? The old gods. Who, who, who? Everyone else to challenge us? Oh, thank God, Steph is wearing a proper dress. Is Steph? The author has been doing Steph pretty dirty, man. Like, the fan service is great, but I just... You know, they're just whoring her out so hard. No, they're not just gaming. This is like... What's the word? They're training their mind. That's right. Jesus. No, it's too early. It's probably like 2 p.m. Wait. Why are we in like a little shed barn? This looks like, uh, you know, in Konosuba, Subaru's, uh, sorry. Kazuma's, like, first setup. So they prefer the hay? They, they, uh, okay, I mean, if it's comfortable, sure. Oh. <laughs> That's too much? Oh, shit, that will just happen, right? A fulfilled one. What, what does that imply? Losing virginity? Okay. Where is his leg placement right now? But what do you mean fulfillment? What are you fulfilling? Imaginary number. Why don't we just play a game of pick a number between one to a million. If you guess it right, you win. If, I, if you guess it wrong, I win. Ah. Oh, we gamba. All right. I mean, if you can't count cards, can't you win? Shouldn't, uh, Shiro be really good at this? Is it though? Can't you like count cards and shit in blackjack? I forget. Oh, this is dangerous. Jesus Christ. They do, do that hand motion. Their wisdom. I love the king is always just depicted as like a king from like a card. We still haven't seen his face yet. I should learn these card games. Actually, I shouldn't. But then that goes down a rabbit hole of gambling. And I'm already gambling on fucking 2D JPEG waifus. Not even 2D JPEG waifus. A chance for 2D JPEG waifus. In fucking Genshin and Honkai Star Rail. So I should chill out on these. We didn't lose though, right? We won there, right? What's the card? Uh, somehow we just won. Okay, okay sure. Even with Steph cheating, I... Okay, sure. I mean, this isn't too... Unprecedented. We all knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> Cause humans are fucking pieces of shit degenerates that always cheat. You, I, how did she lose? Count the cards. Card counting. There it is. You just like memorize all the cards that's been played. So then you can kind of use that to imagine like what cards are still in play. Therefore, you can predict the hands that can be played or some shit like that. But like, to be able to do this, your brain has to be an actual computer. Like, no human can possibly do this. You know? <laughs> She's crying scales. Is that a metaphor for something? No, it's skill. Complete skill. Yeah, you were cheating. What the fuck? What's going on here? Hey, oh my god, hey! That's a lot of... Yeah, that guy was cheeked the fuck up. Shiro wearing the crown is the cutest thing, because she's so tiny. And the way that the crown sits, like, right here, not even just, like, in the middle, but, like, on the angle. Great aesthetic design. Uh, okay, some strategy involved. She's kind of scary at times? Okay. But yeah, that was actually too smart. What the fuck is going on? Stupid. <laughs> I mean... Oh, no. It's, an, it's a... What's the word? An allegory? It's not an allegory. Alliteration. Stupid stuff, you know? Stupid sexy stuff. I don't know what that truly means. It does not mean our, you know, our, our civilization is doomed if she was top students. 
Oh, friends that you guys don't have. Yeah, you made her fall in love with you. Yeah, what's gonna... What, what are we gonna make her do? Fan service incoming. Man, the art design of this show is just so saturated. Every outline is like red. Uh, it's a very interesting choice of, I don't know, color palette. It's nice. It makes everything really pop out. Only thing popping out right now is Steph's titties, though. I thought we'd be welcomed. That tail. That tail. Where is it attached? I think it's too high to be a butt plug. This is reminding me of, uh, what do you got me? Remember the OV episodes where she puts a collar on? Oh my gosh, she's even aooing! This is so degenerate, yo! What are you doing? This is so fucked! Think about the villagers! They're just saying, you know, the, form the princess being treated like a dog by the new kings? Like, it seems so fucking wrong! Six cents that can read minds? It's kind of OP. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a lot of cat girls, dog girls, absolutely, uh-huh. No! Fuck the men and elders! Based. <laughs> oh my god, my man got his priorities straight. It's just gonna be a bunch of hairy dudes, isn't it, though? What? Where are we going? Ooh. Wow, she's tied to this pole. This is so embarrassing for Steph. Like, Steph just keeps taking L after L. This is like public humiliation now. I think it's better if we leave her in the town. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, the kings making the princess act like a dog. Like, it's really not a good look. Pure chance. Uh, again, just guess a number between one to one million. If you guess it correctly, Steph wins. Sorry. If they don't guess it correctly, Steph wins. What does fulfilled mean in this? What does fulfilled mean in, in this context? I feel like it's just about losing his virginity. Ah, it's a 50 50. What the fuck? Why are we seeing her panties there? Why are we seeing her panties there? <laughs> How did she lose in a 50 50 chance? Real time data, sex ratios, occupations. Now what? what? Uh oh. Now, it's less bad when... Oh my god, they're actually censoring it for me, thank you. Like, it's less bad... She, she's wearing on her head?! Imagine if this was Sora wearing it, or Sora making her do that. But because it's Shido doing it, it feels less bad. This is really funny because this is Darkness' voice actor. You know how Darkness is in, you know, Konosuba. She would actually love this treatment. Yet, it's reversed right now. Darkness is the one forcing her into these situations. Oh no, what's next? Okay. And it's just, this is, we're just gonna take all the clothing at this rate. She's gonna run out of clothing, man. You know how I said in the earlier episode, earlier of this episode, I said that, you know, at least uh, Steph isn't being whored out today, like her outfit looks decent? I was wrong. The reason the author put her in so much clothing is for this. What are you gonna bet at this left? That's not a butt plug, right? No, I don't think it is. I think it's just part of the, uh... <laughs> look at, look at Shido, bro. Look at Shido. She looks so cute. Four seconds. Ashente. Just throw something at it. That was so fucking dumb. Steph, no, you didn't state the rules. Look at you, dude. <laughs> What's next? Because you're a doo doo head. You're stupid. You are not the main character. It wasn't even chance, not even picking the games correctly. Steph, just make Sora pick a number between one to a million. If he guesses correctly, he wins. If he doesn't, then he loses. That's a very strict game where he has to pick one to a million directly what the number is. Exactly! I just set a game where it's impossible. Well, not impossible, but it's quite unlikely that he'll win. Probability and statistics were always one of the hardest, most difficult, like, um, math sub -sub uh, subjects for me. Calculus, physics, all that shit, it's pretty easy, but, like, probability, statistics, permutations, combinations, all that kind of shit's just fucking with my head. Yeah, they can read your mind. 
That's crazy. They're physically strong and they can read your mind. They would just know intuitively. This nation does not care. That's where we're a bunch of filthy casuals. We have been reading a lot of books, yeah, yeah. We weren't just fucking around, we've been learning. I just realized Shido's wearing Steph's boots in her hands. I didn't realize how such a dire situation we're in. Look what we're doing, we're just fucking around. Look at Shido. How is Shido just gonna walk away so seriously wearing that shit? Yeah. Yeah, these needs are taking it quite seriously. I love how the people, the pedestrians outside are still looking at us. Oh, Let's not forget the fact that she's pretty much almost naked in the public street. You know, everyone's still looking at us. She woofed. She woofed. Oh, whoa. Ted? Some gods? Old gods? What's going on? Wait, wait, wait. Are we getting invaded? What the fuck is a Laputa? They changed. I think this is an anime reference that I don't get, right? Yeah, I think this is an anime reference that I'm not getting. Uh, there's a flying city. Okay, it's a flying tree. More anime reference I don't understand. There are sensor in the middle finger, really? Look at the pedestrian, man. Don't look, kid. Don't look, kids. Don't make eye contact. The flugel. Exceed rank 6. Okay. Flying tree people. Is she still wearing the same outfit? Does she have more clothes on? They play only one game? What game? They, they're just one-trick ponies? Okay, but if it's a one-trick pony game, like, they're super experienced in it. post credit scene. Will a waifu introduce herself? Hello? Anybody here? Anybody? Oh, yeah. Where's the angel? Where's the wife? Oh, there she is! Damn. Flying cubes. Steph looks terrified. Whoa. Whoa! The shadow makes it look like she has four wings. Damn, who is she? Death itself? Even her eyes have crosses. Yeah, I feel like the way she's speaking is really... Not cringe, but what is that accent? What is that accent? Man, the pacing of this show is so great. Like, immediately we're just getting right back into it. This is pretty much a setup episode, but we had a lot of Steph's fan service. As long, with, with a lot of, like, lore and plot service. Sorry, I almost called it plot service. You know what? That's what it should be called. You know how Eminence and Shadow handles their exposition lore drops? Like, they'll talk about the lore, but then they'll have so much fan service going on that you're distracted, but you're also engaged. This should be called plot service. Now, a flying tree island appeared, and there's this angel, but it's actually death. Now, I think people are hyping this girl up because everyone's saying like episode six or seven is like their favorite episode. We're leading up to that. Oh, it's going to be good. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.